Successfully moored, two for two, Kale. Good job. Did it, now I just have to go to a 35 foot boat. Oh, 20,000 pound boat. 20,000 pound boat. In case we haven't met yet, we're Ryan and Kelsey, two Americans in our mid-twenties living aboard a sailboat named Lucy while preparing her to sail the world. We believe in consuming less and adventuring more. Before buying our blue water sailboat, we paid off over $50,000 in debt in a year and a half. The next two months, we'll be driving cross country to get to know our backyard better. Once hurricane season is over, we'll be returning home to Lucy to finish her remaining projects. This January, we plan to cut the dock lines for good. These videos wouldn't be possible without the support of our AC crew. You can share your support for as little as a dollar an episode. Much love and stay tuned till the end of the show to preview next Thursday's episode. Stop in the middle of the road. For no reason. There's literally nothing. We always put plans in quotes nowadays because nothing is for certain with our lifestyle. As many of you know, we're planners by trade and very type A. So, having no schedule and no plans has been a tough lesson, but so liberating. At the end of the previous episode, Ryan told you our plans to drive from Denver, then traverse over to the East Coast. Well, we were on a time crunch, and I really wanted pizza, so we decided to stop in Omaha, Nebraska, then Chicago for a How I Met Your Mother, Ted and Marshall deep dish pizza stop. <laughs> Got it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Looks good, really. It looks good. Got some deep dish Chicago pizza. Brilliant. Got only here for a hot second, but we had to get some. So on this trip, we got it from Burt's. We got it from a couple other places in the past. So we're trying this one out. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, Hi, Kelsey. Oh. Go. Good to see you, man. What's up, man? Rue's been in the car for over 12 hours, sleeping the entire time. So he's going to be like, all of a sudden, he's just going to be like, oh my god, I have so much energy. Yeah, for the whole 12 hours. You like hanging out with your pack? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> The next week we spent in Long Beach Island, New Jersey with my family on their annual week of vacation at the shore. I spent a lot of time surfing with my dad and taking out his 22 foot center console that gets in the water for about a week every two years. As I've mentioned before, I credit my love for the ocean to my pop, my grandfather. He was the one who started this long chain of Dietrich men of all generations serving in a seagoing service since he originally did in World War II. While I was in town, we finally laid my pop to rest where he belongs, in the sea. While in town, I was also able to see one of my best friends and old shipmate, Jordan, become a Philadelphia police officer. Three of the four you see here joined the Coast Guard together, so you'll be seeing these guys visiting us down in the Caribbean or maybe helping out on a longer passage at some point. That looks cozy. All right. End of our very short beach trip. Heading out tomorrow. It's a good trip. It was good to see the beach again. Wow! Is that you liking New Jersey? There's no one here. Whoa, whoa, it's not whoa, cold. whoa, whoa. I didn't say I like New whoa. Jersey. Whoa. The beach. I like going to the beach. Whoa. Well, I like New Jersey because it's home. Well, South Jersey. I should always qualify that. But still, it's really neat that we have this option to go ahead and do this not being on a set schedule or anything. I get to hang out here, surf for nine times now. Every year for Kelsey's birthday, we do a, a yearly goal list and it's like 10 things on the list. And I put, I wanna surf at least 26 times this year. You were like, I don't think you'll be able to do it, right? No, I didn't think we would because we would really only be surfing for half, less than half the year. If that. If that. There's really not any waves in the Bahamas or anything. Right. So I've kicked off my goal list pretty well this year. That was like one of the tough ones, I think. And now it's like I'm revisiting a, a childhood passion, I guess, that I've kind of let fall to the wayside while working so much. I'm very grateful that I have this opportunity to kind of make this my life. So and it's, oh, oh, and you too, you too. I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow in Boston. Yeah, in Boston. Hasta luego.
one of my girlfriends works here and she was able to get us tickets for the one night that we're in town. So thank you, Rachel. I'm very tired. But we made it to our campsite. Are you pissed about being in the car for so long? <laughs> we're out here on the Cape at Roland C. Nickerson State Park. Unfortunately, everywhere up in the Northeast you have to pay for $35 for pretty much the same thing that we'd get for free everywhere else. Mm -hmm. Where are we right now? Right there. I don't know, I guess we'll go up to and then we'll come all the way back down to, where's Chatham? Right there. Chatham, and we'll go that way. Yeah. Didn't know that. Well, the big ones always out here. Big great whites. Mary something. Jaws. No. <laughs> Jaws was in Jersey. Mary Kate. What's the shark's name? That they track. Oh, I don't know what her name is. Get it. Get him. What you got? Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Weighs twice as much as our boat. <laughs> Coast Guard Station Chatham is most known for this one crazy rescue led by Bernie Weber, who is a bosun mate. The details of the rescue, it was actually made into a movie that was produced by Disney and it was released a year and a half ago. It's called The Finest Hours. And what Bernie Weber did was he led him and like two other crewmen out beyond this bar out here, which is like really bad shoaling and everything. And what he was going out for was an oil tanker, the SS Pendleton, and the ship broke in half due to a nor'easter, and they ran it aground out here. So they were stuck out here during a really bad winter storm, and he ended up saving 32 crew members. Good morning from the Adirondacks. We pitched the tent last night at like 11, and I walked down this trail right here can't really see it and then essentially came up through this little pass and then landed right here and I was like god this looks like a pretty good spot it was pitch black mind you I had no idea there, there was a mountain right there and then we had no idea that there was a house there's a house right there they're pretty much anchoring right on top of people bad etiquette It's an upside down quarter bad luck. I have no clue. I don't think it's a thing. All right. We're gonna go with it not being a thing. You ready to go? Ready to go to Burlington? Burlington, Vermont. Ready to go? You wanna go for an adventure? It looks ready. All right, I gotta tell you guys a fuzzy story. So you see this? I thought that was that. <laughs> I woke up to this guy biting his back legs and his butt and I thought he was chewing the fuzzy mic and I almost killed him. If I comb my hair and tie my shoes I will gain my trust and live to lose What if all was like it never were Would I sell myself to what I learned And I was to near the 
Looking at some of those marinas there, it kind of got me thinking that maybe we should kind of go around and see if we can figure out how much it costs to live aboard in certain cities. We already have a good amount of data with other cities that we were looking at moving to before we started to vlog full time. So if you guys would like to see that on the website, if we can kind of like compile uh, a list of major cities in the US and how much it costs to live aboard there, comment below and let us know if we should dedicate some time to that. And yeah, we can go ahead and make it happen. All the fall foliage. We got some leftovers. Up in Vermont on our way to where? We are going to South Thomason in Maine. North of Portland and south of Arcadia. It's right on the ocean. Is there an R in Acadia? No, it's not Arcadia. Acadia. We've been working on that one for there, a while. There is an Arcadia in Florida. So I keep on mixing it up with But that. is this Florida? Does this look like Florida to you? Florida. Is this Florida? No. It's not. Very excited to see what this... You all set up? I need my mouse. Uh, oh yeah. This computer's trackpad doesn't allow me to drag and drop, so uh, editing is pretty awful. And there's the generator. So you can't actually put your feet down because there is absolutely no room. I'll get you your mouse and then we're ready to go. I think this guy's ready too. Are you ready? This collection. We are currently in Maine at a friend's cottage, enjoying it very much. Yeah, it's all closed up for the season right now, so we just camped out on our land. Hanging out here enjoying this awesome view. But today we're heading about a two hour drive north and we're heading up to Acadia and we're gonna do some more camping and hiking. Never been there, it's gonna be right on the coast. We're really excited to check it out. We're running a little bit behind, how come? Because this guy, now he's ready to go. Now he's ready to go for an adventure. <laughs> come on, out, come, good what? boy. What'd you do? So we are running a little behind because this guy learned how to swim. Yeah! He swam for the first time in Maine on his own. Freezing cold. <laughs> Not expected in the slightest, but Kels went down here. Tide is pretty far out now. You can almost see our footprints from when we did it. Went down here and he just pretty much slowly walked himself out to these rocks, trying to attack the rocks. And we went out further and further, and then we baited him with treats, and we got a swimming dog. You water boy, huh? Yeah. Water boy, water boy, water boy. Water boy. Now, finally, off to Acadia by South Thomaston. Where are we? We are in Camden, Maine, getting some lobster rolls. Look at all of these boats. A couple cat rigs. Some sort of center cockpit. Got a get. lobster roll. I'm so excited to try this. <laughs> really good lobster. You gotta do the ridiculous face reaction, like most cooking shows. Like, oh mm, my god, mm, it's so good. For sure.
Made it into Canada. Woo! They didn't even ask for your paperwork, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Intense interrogation. Yep. Asked us what we were planning to do, if we've ever been to Canada before, and that was about it. There's a New Brunswick sign. And we're going to New Brunswick. So here we go. Roo, we're going to Canada. All right, so it's low tide right now, and the sun is setting, so it looks pretty awesome. And all of these huge rock formations are appearing. You can see a lot of them are still really wet, and it's from where it was high tide, so it's pretty cool. And it smells incredible over here. There is all these fresh pine trees right above the water the cliffs so it smells amazing it smells like we're in the west again so the sun is starting to set behind me and it is getting a little chilly out so we're gonna be heading to our campsite soon because it's getting a little cold and wet so we'll see you guys tomorrow Maybe I'm heading to die, but I'm still gonna try. I guess I'm gonna.